Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to change your desktop folders to another color or to your favorite Bitmoji. Let's get started. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to change your desktop folders to a different color. Um, the first thing that you need to do is you'll go up to File and click New Folder to create your folders. And I'm going to do a couple of them. And let's do one more. Okay, the second thing that you will do, you're going to go ahead and rename your folder. And um, I renamed my folder Denson Folder. Sorry. Um, and by renaming it or to rename it, you can simply right click and then click rename. And the box pops up for you to type on it. So then after you rename your folder, what you're going to do is is um, click on the, the box or the folder that you're changing. You're going to right click and go to get info. When that pops up, you're going to click on the little small folder image or folder icon that's right in the left corner. Then you're going to select edit and then copy. Once you do this, you're going to open up your preview app. Now for me, mine is under my lunch pad. So I would click preview. And then I'm going to go back up here to file. And I'm going to select new from clipboard. And this box pops up and I'll just move it over some. After you do that, then you're, um, if you'll, you'll see this little box here, this little third box, it's like a suitcase or a little bag or something like that, but it says show markup two bar. You're going to click on that. And when that pops up down here, these little icons, the one that looks like a triangle, it says adjust color. You're going to click on it. And at this moment, you can play around with the adjustments to get the, um, the folder to be whatever color um, that you want it to be. Just you you can play with that so um, for the sake of time I'm just going to leave it at this turquoise looking color okay and so after that you just click you X out of that box then you um, make sure that you're over this and you're going to copy it and there's two ways that you can copy you can do command C or you can go up here and do edit and copy once you do that you can go ahead and X out of this you do not have to save then you're going to go back up here to this small folder the icon you're going to click on it and then you're going to paste and there's two ways to do that you can do command v or you can do edit and paste and your folder changes colors now from there um, if you have additional folders already on your desktop, you can change those as well. And to, to do that, you simply just click on that folder, right click, click get info, click on the small icon, and then you can do command V or paste. And it changes it to that color. Now, we're going to change our folder to our favorite Bitmoji. And in order for you to do that, you need to first find a pit, your Bitmoji picture that you want to use. For me, I have my Bitmoji pictures in one of my folders. So I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to find the picture that I want. And um, I'm going to do don't touch your face. So I'm going to click on it. It's going to come up and then I'm going to copy it using command C or you can go up here to edit and copy. Then you X out of it. Go to the folder that you want to change, which for me, I'm going to do this one that's down here. And I will follow the previous um, instructions for changing the, the color of the folder, but instead I'm going to add a picture. So I will click right click, click get info. Click on the folder, this little small icon folder, and then I'm going to paste. And you can do Command V or you can do Edit 
and paste. And now your desktop folder is your favorite Bitmoji. And then from there you can, you know, rename it. And to do that, you simply click re rename. I can name it reading. Or you can name it whatever it is that you want to name it. And that is how you change your desktop folder to another color. And also how you change your desktop folder to your favorite Bitmoji. I hope this helped and as always, thanks for watching.